What up guys, welcome to my priest racial tier list and this is going to apply for all phases from now onward so we won't need to make a new one each phase. A lot of people have been asking me about whether or not they should be playing dwarf, whether night elf is okay, whether human is okay, what's stronger out of troll and undead, these kind of things. So this is going to be a tier list for all of the priest racials, how I've ranked them and that should solve and clear a little bit of it up. Make sure you watch to the end for my personal picks for race for both shadow and disc. If you found it useful, make sure you give it a like. And if you disagreed with anything, please do drop a comment so that we can have a discussion about it and then maybe we'll learn a little bit more about the game and tweak it for the future. Thanks very much for watching and enjoy. We'll start at the bottom, we've got feedback as the worst priest racial in the game. Very, very hard to actually get value out of, costs a lot of mana, doesn't drain that much mana. Uh, I believe it's even dispellable and doesn't do that much damage. So just overall pretty dead weight. Uh, D tier, top of it, we've got Illusion's Grace. Doesn't work on melee damage. The, the, the damage reduction only works on range. Doesn't work on spells, is dispellable. Only the dodge works on melee and it's not that much. So it's nice in certain situations as a, uh, you know, a little tank cooldown, but not reliable in any way, shape or form due to dodges RNG and just a very niche cooldown to be using compared to other things that are available. Next up is Star Shards in the bottom of C tier, and this is quite a lot of mana, but also a six second channel. So the only real use for it is kind of baiting out CS. A lot of other things you could be pressing during that time, six seconds quite long, especially in the faster pace SOD gameplay. Then we've got Shadow Meld, and the only really redeeming quality of this is that you can drink while in Shadow Meld. So this actually helps you get a little bit longer out of your drink because people are gonna have to run up to you to stop it rather than being able to stop it from range. So this is going to give you a few extra ticks there, but generally quite a niche usage from this one as well. Then above Shadow Mode, we have Perception. And Perception in its own right is quite strong against Rogues, against Ferals. It's not a bad button to push. However, you are giving up something like Stone Form for it because you have to play Human to get this. And while the Perception is nice in itself, as soon as the Rogue is out of stealth, this is now useless. And... Overall, the stone form is going to be stronger for you against rogues in the, in the long run. So the very niche class nature of this, combined with the overall you know strength that it actually brings, keeps it relatively low. Uh, Berserking also quite low, doesn't work on channels, doesn't work on instant globals. So the main time you're going to be getting value out of this is when you're casting things like flash heal, mind blast, or maybe wanding. Next up, we've got B tier and we've got Touch of Weakness, which is strong because it procs Blackout, but the overall value that you get out of it in terms of damage reduction is relatively low and the damage that it does is also relatively low. So there's other globals you can be pressing while being trained by melee that are going to give you more value if you don't get the Blackout initially off this. At the top of B tier, we've got Devouring Plague and Generally, this would be a little bit higher. However, we do have the option of Void Plague now, which is a lot cheaper, does a lot more damage, and is generally a, a higher priority button to be pushing. You won't be able to play in a focus if you're playing Shadow at 40. So this is quite a tricky racial to actually get value from uh, without ooming yourself very quickly. In A tier, we've got touch, no, sorry, we've got Hex of Weakness. Apologies, this is the troll racial. And this is providing 20% Mortal Strike. So very, very strong at 25, but it's going to continue to be decent. It's spammable, it's low mana cost. You can use rank one and still get the 20%. And this is going to be available uh, basically whenever you want, right? You can, you can use it uh, at a 30 yard range and there's no cooldown. So you can Hex of Weakness plenty of people in Warsong Gulch that are pushing in deep and cause a lot of extra problems for the healers that there wouldn't normally be now keep in mind that at 40 there will be other mortal strikes in the game as well that do 50 percent healing reduction so this will not be as valuable then next up we got shadow guard and the reason this is so strong is because it procs not only on melee but also on ranged and spells and it has three charges so you don't have to refresh it anywhere near as much of touch of weakness and it also does a lot more damage the scaling on it is pretty nice it's a 0.26 or 26% approximately scaling per charge on your spell power. So you can actually do a decent amount of damage with this as a, as a passive that you've got up. Uh, and not only that, you can proc blackouts and the shadow vuln with it. 
Top of A tier, we've got Desperate Prayer, and now it's starting to get serious. The Desperate Prayer is a very, very strong heal. I think at level 40, it's probably going to be healing you for like 25 to 30% of your HP, most likely. And when you combine this with something like Stone Form to remove Wound Poison, this is going to be a very, very powerful survival tool. It's going to help you get to your next Penance cooldown if you're playing Disc. Um, if you happen to be playing Shadow with it, if you're playing a Dwarf Shadow Priest, then it could be a very good last resort coming out of Shadow Form, popping this to buy yourself a little bit more time. Uh, and it's also free. It is completely free. It doesn't cost any mana. And this is really strong because it doesn't proc the five second rule. Really good shout there. AK, thank you. Then in S tier, we've got Stone Form. And this is going to be very, very strong because you can actually remove blinds with it. Blind is removable. It's a poison. Stone Form removing that. But also it lasts for eight seconds and it will be making, be making you immune to disease, bleed and poison. For the duration and i think we are definitely going to see a lot more bleeds and poisons uh if no more diseases coming out from other runes as we go forward so this has a lot a lot of uh potential use cases making it very very versatile and that's going to be the bottom of our s tier next up we've got fear Ward, another dwarf racial and this is why dwarves are generally heralded so strong we've got three of their racials in the you know in the tops top four even which is insane uh, and yeah, in rank 2 spot, in S tier, we've got the Fear Ward, 30 seconds cooldown, 10 minutes duration, costs very little mana, it's like 100 mana, and you can buff as many people as, as you can during that 10 minutes with it, if you use it on cooldown. So pre-popping this in Warsong is going to make your whole team basically immune to fear, especially if you've got a couple of Dwarf Priests, and you can refresh it as, as often as you can. So if you're fighting another priest, you can try and feel what every single one of his fears that makes it incredibly, incredibly strong. 30 seconds cooldown on this is absolutely nuts. And then the best priest racial in the game is going to be Will of the Forsaken. And the reason for this is the versatility of it. The fact that you can remove any fear once it's already landed. Uh, it also works on charms. So Succubus is going to be charming as well, potentially. Warlocks decide to use it down the line. We'll have to see on that one. Uh, but it also removes magic dust and magic dust is something that's going to be way more prevalent going forward people are stockpiling it right now they're not using it as much at 25 but you better believe better players at higher levels are going to be using magic dust more and if you can remove that with will of the, will of the forsaken and deny a reset that is an absolutely huge deal that's going to be the difference between killing people and not so you are definitely going to want this one We'll have to wait and see if Blizzard decides to implement the Priest racial swapping at level 40 or if that's something they're going to be saving for later on. If they do allow racial swapping at 40, I would suggest if you're playing a Disc Priest going for just straight up Dwarf if you're on Alliance uh, and playing with the Dwarf racials. If you're on Horde, then obviously Undead, but then with the Dwarf racials again. So the uh, you'll have the Will of, the, Will of Forsaken Field and, and Desperate Prayer. And that's going to be really, really strong defensively for you. Um, if you are playing on Horde uh, and you decide to go as a Shadow Priest, then I would suggest going Undead again, but taking the Troll Racial, Shadow Guard, and Hex of Weakness. And if you're going to be playing on Alliance, again going Dwarf, Stone Form, incredibly strong, and taking the, the Troll Racials 